The peace and tranquility of an English Sunday morning at the parish church of St. Neots in Cambridgeshire. The service has been conducted by the Reverend Ronald Lancaster, who's standing in while St. Neots waits for a new vicar. Good morning. Good morning. The Reverend Lancaster lives some miles away at the village of Kim Bolton. And as he wends his way home, his thoughts turn inevitably to a subject dear to his heart, the magazine. No, not the parish magazine, but this. A 10 foot by six solid steel strongroom, situated a safe distance from the house, and packed to the rafters with explosives. For this is a magazine in the true sense of the word, an arsenal for the safekeeping of gunpowder. The reason for this potential holocaust on the Reverend Lancaster's doorstep is that he's the only clergyman in the country, indeed the only individual of any kind, to be licensed by the Home Office to make fireworks. The Reverend Ron Lancaster is not one of those small-time amateurs who knock up homemade sparklers for little Johnny's bonfire party. No back garden affairs for this unusual man of the cloth. He puts on firework extravaganzas which cost thousands, like the Jubilee display and the television spectacular he's doing at Blackpool on Saturday. It's all done from a series of high security sheds near his home. This is one place where the Reverend Lancaster will decidedly not forgive those that trespass against him. Helped by his father-in-law, he's making a ship display for the Blackpool show. It's been a hectic time for them, with the Jubilee exhausting everybody's stocks. And for the past week, in a frantic effort to meet his orders, this Anglican fire raiser has been burning the Roman candle at both ends from matins through evensong and beyond. It all started for the Reverend Lancaster when, as a boy in Huddersfield, he used to watch the local fireworks manufacturers testing out their pyrotechnics on the Yorkshire moors. That sparked off an interest which has stayed with him through ordination and a career as chaplain and chemistry master at Kim Bolton School. By a remarkable coincidence, the school was once the home of Sir John Popham, presiding judge at the trial of Guy Fawkes. The strands of history not exactly repeating themselves, but recrossing nearly 400 years on. The Reverend Lancaster might not be subversive enough for Guy Fawkes' tastes, but the old gunpowder plotter couldn't fault his knowledge of explosives. So that you have a very long cylindrical firework which is put into a firing tube which is made of steel it's almost like a gun and at the very bottom here there's a charge of gunpowder which blows the the shell in the air and then you have a disc here and a shock absorber to take the kick how high does it blow it it can go anything from uh, this particular bomb i should say about 700 feet but on, on the whole, most bombshells go from about uh, 300 to 800. And this will perform five times. In fact, you've got five shells all married together. So you've got one section here, and when that explodes, it then lights the next section, and so on, uh, five times. How much are those to, to, to buy from you? I would say, well, to buy from me, in the first place is we don't normally sell them to public because they're too dangerous. We only use them ourselves. But I would say probably this would be worth something like 25, 26 pounds. The fireworks aren't stored next to the house. That's against regulations. But for picking up by customers, they're brought to the back garden, where Mrs. Lancaster shows an impressive grasp of all that rocketry and combustibles. So in this case is your waterfall, good night, vertical wheels and static set piece. Good. And in the number six box, you've got your large display goods, which you'd use more at the end of your display. Yes. Here are your instructions, which you must read a few nights beforehand. So you Mrs. Lancaster likes to make sure customers have got their holy orders. After all, you can't be too careful with all that fire and brimstone. 
uh, I don't think it's, uh, there's anything incompatible about fireworks and, and being a priest at all. After all, uh, most fireworks have been used throughout the world for religious functions. In fact, uh, fireworks in England were used before the Guy Fawkes incident on the eve of St John. What is and the fascination then of, of fireworks? It's really rather like producing a play in that you have to stage manage your display and you produce the fireworks which uh, come out of the dark and give pleasure to other people. But you yourself can remain in the dark and remain fairly anonymous. And uh, I find that rather nice, really, because I can just keep out of the way, but uh, produce all these nice fireworks and give a lot of pleasure to other people.